I am excited to introduce Gravity Forms G Drive file uploader. It basically will take the file from the form from your website and put it directly in the Google Cloud. So um, let's get into it. I'll show you the features, I'll show you what it can do, and just give you a quick demo. So here we are at the back end of WordPress. We have our Gravity Forms area. We have our, our forms, basically, and under Forms is Settings. So this is the Gravity Forms Settings. And underneath that Settings is a menu item called Google Drive. When you click on that, um, after you've authenticated your license, you can basically click on Google. Now, this is the Google Authenticator site you're taken to. You're probably familiar with it. Uh, I'm sure you've signed in with Google uh, if you have a Google account in other places. And basically the same idea, you're just going to enter your email address or username. And then your password. Now just so you know, all this does is allow the plugin on your website, the plugin that you've installed, which is our plugin, to, um, to make a connection to the Google Cloud. We at Restrator Labs, we don't Look at any of the files. We don't have. We don't intercept them. Our plugin is not designed that way. All it does is just allow you to connect um, your account, your your website, and your Google Forms directly to the Google Cloud. And the first time you set it up, we will direct you temporarily. Um, after just you as an admin, we'll direct you temporarily to um, to one of our uh, domain. And once we get it back, we just redirect it back to your domain so that you can set it up. But other than that, we have nothing to do with uh, the process. And after that, it's all direct from, um, from your website to Google Drive. So I'm going to put in my password here. And I just have to accept this and allow. And here I am back at my website. So I'm connected now, I have this green confirmation. So let's try it out, let's go to a form. I've created a form called Google Drive Uploader here, but you can do it with any form. So I put a name, email, and most importantly, a file field here. Now you can go um, under advanced, I believe, and look for the file um, form, a file upload here. So this is what you would do here to add that file upload field. I don't need to do that, I've already done that, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. I'll save the form here. And then for those of you who are familiar with Gravity Forms, we need to set up our feed as a last step. So let's go up to Settings and then go up to Google Drive here. I don't have any feeds yet, so I'll just create one. And this is going to just make sure that Gravity Forms knows that this is what we want. We want to select uh, either all file upload fields which just kind of will allow us to use multiple fields, or we can specify one of them. If I named a particular one, I only want that field uh, to be uploading things to my Google Drive, then I would choose that. This is where it will be uh, sent up. It'll create a default um, folder called Gravity Forms and the name of your site underneath it. And then we can turn on conditional um, conditions, but I'm not gonna do that right now. So I'm just gonna save everything. And then we can go and start testing that. Actually, there's an error it says, but let's try this. All right, so now we're ready to test. And so the idea being your visitor will come, fill out your form, and then they will choose a file. I'll just choose one that's on my desktop. And this is a nice little picture. Submit it. And now it is time to test whether it showed up in the Google Drive. So let's go up here. And here's the Gravity Forms add-on folder that gets created automatically. And in there is the website that uh, I'm submitting this through. And of course, here is the image. There it is. So that's it. If you have any questions about the plugin, feel free to let us know. There's a link down in the description below this video. And you're always welcome to use our contact form and, and ask any questions you might have about it as well. Happy to answer it and help you out. Thanks so much.